five, six, seven. Whenever I get to the point where my body starts breaking, I think to myself, what if the guy next to me can do 110 push-ups straight? Then I'm at 100, I'm like, well, I can't stop at 110, so I gotta do 120. I know I've done everything I can to beat that guy. And for him to outwork me or to spend more time in the gym, he'd have to be the Terminator. So for me, that, that's where I get my confidence from. If you want to win and you want to do the best you can, you push yourself to those limits to see what you can go through. We're world-class athletes competing, and there's a winner, there's a loser, and that's all there is to it. Winning's easy. How you come back from a loss makes a real champion. That's when you find out what a fighter's made of, and I'm a fighter, I was born to do this. I hate losing more than anything. It makes it where it's hard to sleep. It makes it where it's hard to eat. If you lose and you come back a little bit stronger, uh, but I believe if I lose, that next fight is gonna be my best fight. That's what a fighter is. How hard you can take a hit and get back up. And whenever I lost, I came back. I was training harder than anybody that was having fights. I had nothing scheduled, but is that sick feeling that I was there, I was, had the moment, and I let it go. And there's nothing more sickening and frustrating about yourself knowing that you didn't leave everything in the cage. Nobody remembers second place. They only remember who has that belt, and nothing else matters but that belt. That's the only reason I'm in here. I'm not in here to be just a UFC fighter. I'm not in here just to say I train and fight. I have to be world champion. I want that more than I, I want to breathe. Every day I know I'll do whatever it takes to get my hand raised and that's all that matters.